Hey there everyone, I hope you're enjoying the sunshine. Juan Romero here from Switch Watch with our 10 top Switch bargains of the week. 10 games that we picked from the Nintendo eShop with huge discounts. And I know that you love a discount, so we're here for you. We have just launched SwitchWatch.net where you can buy your eShop cards and spend them on the Nintendo eShop. And we're giving you 10% discount on any purchase that you make on our website for the next month. That's 10% off with the code SWITCHWATCH10. Just enter SWITCHWATCH10 where you enter the coupon and you'll get 10% off any Nintendo Switch digital purchase. There's games on there too, so have a look. We've also got our merch and all of our YouTube videos there. We are really happy to launch this and we hope you enjoy it and you can get a little bit more discount for your purchases. On top of the discounts that Nintendo are already offering, which we're going to show you now, now, and we're going to start off with American Fugitive. American Fugitive has 80% off, and it's a modern take on the classic sandbox action offering 3D top-down open-world single-player experience. Here, you've gone down for murdering your dad, although you didn't do it. Fueled by grief and a burning desire for vengeance, you'll bust out of jail intent on finding the real culprit. And once outside, you'll need to blend in with the townsfolk to avoid recapture and establish contact with the criminal underworld. Welcome to the Deep South in the 1980s. American Fugitive is a love letter to the classic movies and games of old. Featured for the King before, but it's worth featuring again. A nice, healthy discount for the King is a fascinating game that blends strategy, RPG games, classic tabletop gameplay, and roguelike elements that takes you back to the 90s with its heavy RNG dice rolling mechanics. The graphics are cartoon-like and quaint. It's enjoyable both as a solo story or as a co-op experience either way. And remember, you can get 10% off eShop cards on www.switchwatch.net using code SWITCHWATCH10. I actually quite like House Flipper. It's not for everybody, but it's got a nice discount on it right now. An interesting game where you buy houses in a disgraceful state, renovate them, and then flip them on for profit. A dream that many people would love to do in real life, but don't have the capital or maybe the guts to try in the real world. What you've got here at your disposal is a set of tools and parts such as a hammer, drill, cleaning products, and once you've repaired the place, let your inner creativity run riot and get designing. Everything from furniture to color schemes are at your mercy here. One to definitely try if you fancy something different. Hotshot Racing is one of those games that I absolutely love. It's blisteringly fast, an arcade-style racing game fusing drift handling, razor-sharp retro visuals, and incredible sense of speed to create an exhilarating driving experience. I reviewed this one, gave it a very solid 8.5 out of 10. You can check out the review by clicking the top right-hand corner. Now, with 16 tracks, time trial, Grand Primos, catering to those who like to compete in classic racing formats, and cops and rock Robbers and drive or explode modes offer exhilarating new ways to play. Now, each mode is available in single player, four player, split screen, and eight player online, whilst time trial is a single player experience only. Now, single player modes run at a blistering 60 frames per second to deliver one of the faster depictions of racing possible on the Nintendo Switch. Overall, a brilliant choice. You'll notice this week a lot of games are from Curve Digital, the publisher. They do some great stuff. And here is another Smoke and Sacrifice with 80% off. An open world narrative driven RPG mixed in with the survival genre where exploiting living ecosystems is key to your survival. The open world is beautifully hand painted, it's a gothic adventure which graphically reminds me of the Steam World series. A nice mix of gameplay styles that mostly works. The bag management side of things though is a little bit annoying, but if you stick with it, there's a solid game here, especially for the price. Games like Bomber Crew are not for me especially, but I gave it a solid review because I can see that many people out there would love a game like this. It really does put your multitasking skills to the absolute test. You can customize your plane, manage everything from hydraulics, fuel and ammo, but to name a few. And once in the skies, danger is everywhere. It's up to you to make sure your crew is prepared so they can survive and excel in each mission. 
seen Serial Cleaner on sale for a while, but it's back again. It's a pretty stylish, compact stealth game where the idea is to cover up murders by cleaning the crime scenes themselves. You sneak around, avoiding cops, hoovering up all that blood and dead bodies in compact but challenging levels. Now, I think the original price was decent, but with 85% off, an absolute steal in all regions. Flame in the Flood is another survival game where you control a girl and her dog down a procedurally generated river. Of course, evading dangerous wildlife is key, along with finding resources to survive and also remedying afflictions. There is a crafting system and the support you get from your dog who can sniff out danger is charming. I love the visuals here and the cool soundtrack. And with the money off, up to 80% off now in all regions, definitely worth a try if you haven't done so already. I'm not going to tell you this is the best fighting game ever. However, with the money off $2.99, it is a good little bargain. I Am The Hero is a love note to retro gaming. It's going to give you memories of those fighters of the past. It's pretty fast paced and fluid. Got a single player campaign. Local co-op though is where it's at. And we really enjoyed this one. In fact, I'll put the review in the top right hand corner if you want more detail. I remember when Burnout Paradise, the port, came to the Nintendo Switch and we were all complaining about how expensive it was, about £50 at the time. However, it's now down to a much more reasonable price, 67% off, and Burnout Paradise Remasters delivers the complete original game, eight main DLC packs, including Big Surf Island, Burnout Bikes and the Cops and Robbers Pack. With new locations and challenges, there's also 130 plus vehicles to find and explore. Now, the visuals here run at a glorious 60 frames per second and it is fully optimized for the Nintendo Switch. I cannot tell you how much fun I have played this game on the move, on the TV. It's just fantastic and you never get tired when you crash those cars, that's for sure. That's it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Really hope you've enjoyed this week's segment of the 10 top Nintendo Switch bar that we found for you this week. Remember, we've launched www.switchwatch.net where you can get 10% off for the next month off any eShop cards and we cover most regions from the USA, Europe and UK. So please check that out. It does support us when you also buy a card from there. Thank you to all of our members, our new members that have joined lately, all of our subscribers and of course, our wonderful watchers. If you're still watching, you are an absolute legend. Let us know in the comments down below what games you're playing, what bargains you're thinking of picking up. A small update on James if you've been listening in the last few weeks. They had a premature twins, unfortunately, but they're doing really well. They're three weeks older now and uh, continuing to do fantastically well. So hopefully going from strength to strength and we'll see James back soon enough. Take care, everybody. We'll see you on the next one.